Hello, grade 6E and EE. This is a nat natural science and technology lesson. Let's read through the disclaimer. The work to be done during this PowerPoint and video presentation covers the work for NS and Technology for Grade 6, Term 1. This video is proudly, proudly brought to you by Ma'am Heidi Labiskagne. Today we'll be discussing diseases due to an unhealthy diet. This is also the knowledge that you will need in order to do your practical task in Term 1. Diseases due to an unhealthy diet. There are many people in the world who do not or are not able to eat a healthy balanced diet. Many choose to eat an unhealthy diet while others do not have a choice. Many people live in cities and can afford to buy takeaways often or to eat hastily prepared meals that do not always include food from the four food groups. Other families must eat what they can afford. They do not have the privilege of choosing what their food pyramid looks like, but eat what they can buy with their little income. This would mostly consist of carbohydrates and some vegetables, and rarely includes meat and enough protein and other vitamins. unhealthy diet. An unhealthy diet can lead to many health problems because the body does not get the amount of the different food groups and therefore cannot function properly. Here we see the food pyramid. We'll go into the basics or into the details as we go along throughout this chapter. Causes of a poor diet. Diseases and infections might influence your diet. Dietary practices. Poverty and high food prices. As well as food shortage. Let's discuss them individually. Diseases and infections. When someone has a chronic illness, such as HIV or AIDS, they are sick for a very long time. Their bodies become weak and they cannot absorb nourishment from the food they eat, resulting in a poor diet. Dietary practices. In many countries, people prefer certain foods, for example, rice, sump, or millimeal. 
People eat a lot of this particular food type and do not get enough protein or fats and oils as part of their diet. They also often cannot afford other food types, especially in developing countries. Some families in developed countries do not eat enough fruit and vegetables out of choice and eat a lot of refined car carbohydrates, which also leads to disease and illness. Poverty and high food prices. Poverty and high food prices stop many people from enjoying food such as milk, meat, poultry, for example chicken, and fruits. This has made it almost impossible for poor families to afford certain food groups. Some families can only afford one type of food group. Food shortage. Sometimes famine occurs in a country where drought, poor farming knowledge and skills, and a lack of technology limits the yield of crops and herds of animals. This results in a food shortage in that country. Now we get to the diseases and conditions caused by this poor diet. Often we get diseases and conditions because our bodies do not get the necessary nourishment. Some of these diseases are tooth decay, diabetes, rickets, anorexia nervosa, constipation, kwashiorkor, and obesity. What is tooth decay? When you eat or drink too much sugar, the bacteria in your mouth forms acids that eat away the tooth surface called enamel and causes cavities to form. Rickets Rickets is a condition mostly seen in babies and children, when children do not get enough fruits and vegetables and do not get enough vitamin D, their bodies cannot absorb calcium and they cannot grow strong bones. Constipation this is a painful condition, this is not a disease, that occurs when bowel movements become difficult and take place days or even weeks apart. An unhealthy diet is often to blame, but there are other causes too. The best way to treat constipation is to eat a healthy diet with lots of fiber in the carbohydrates, to exercise regularly and to drink enough water. Obesity. Once again, this is a condition and not a disease where a person's body weight is more than 20% that of the average weight for other people of the same age and height as that person. 
the best prevent the the best preven prevention for obesity is to follow a healthy, balanced diet. Diabetes. This is a disease that affects the body's ability to use blood sugar for energy. Diabetes symptoms may include an increased thirst and urination, blurred vision and excessive tiredness. Anorexia nervosa. This is a life-threatening eating disorder where the patients starve themselves and deprive their bodies of nourishment to cause themselves to lose a large amount of weight. Kwashiorkor. Kwashiorkor affects many children. It is caused by a lack of protein and iodine in their diet. Children suffering from this may have swollen hands and feet and especially a very large stomach. Many ulcers on the skin and their hair might discolor. Let's get to the important information. Use these eight steps to make a success of virtual schooling. And please follow us on the platforms mentioned on this photo.